have this new material that is printable and it's iron-on so I can iron it on a shirt. So it's printable and it's made by Square One Masterpiece and I'm so excited to give it a try. I haven't tried it out. I will be trying it out first with you guys. So the file that I have on my screen is actually from Lisa Norris. She's on the Pink by Design Design team and she has an Etsy shop which I will provide the link for you guys in my post. And she made this adorable little Captain America. And my son loves the Avengers and he loves Captain America so I thought it would be a cute way to do a t-shirt. So the first thing we're going to do is I have this lined up and I already have my cut line around it and we're just going to go ahead and send it to the printer. So I'm going to click up here on send to printer and we're going to print it out. Okay, now that he's all printed out, we're going to go ahead and we're going to send it to the silhouette. And then it will come up here because it knows that we have a print image and we're just going to click skip printing because we've already done that. And then when it says send to silhouette, we're just going to click continue. And we want to detect these registration marks. It's the most important thing. The registration marks before you print anything, you can put them on by this little tab up here. So we're going to detect automatically and you'll hear the machine looking for the marks. That way it cuts the image perfectly where it needs to. Okay, it detected them. So now we're just going to check our settings. And if I remember correctly, there's some fabric on here. If not, then we will just double cut fabric with interfacing. I'm thinking that might work for us. Yeah, let's try that and we will double cut it just to be sure. We have our t-shirt ready. We have our Captain America cut out. We have our iron heating up. And I just wanted to show you, like I said, this was fabric, not vinyl but it works similarly to vinyl. Okay, so, but it, the texture is totally fabric. So I'm gonna peel this up, it cut it perfectly. So, that double cut, I don't know if I needed it, but it sure works. Okay, when you go to iron this on to your shirt, or whatever your, iron, your tote, or whatever else you're, you might be ironing it onto, you will iron directly onto the material, okay? So also, if you're using an inkjet printer, it might be a good idea to let it dry, maybe even overnight, so that you don't um, smear your colors by ironing it. I did not let mine dry overnight and it still worked fine, but I don't know how all inkjet printers are out there, so that might be a good step to take. Also, um, when you iron it, when you just directly iron straight onto the fabric, and it adheres pretty quickly. Also, by ironing it, you will not only make it adhere to the fabric, you are also making those inks from your inkjet printer really stay, so there will be no bleeding. And that's it. Once you iron it on, you have a finished shirt. So thanks for watching everyone. If you're interested in getting this file, you can check out Lisa Norris on Etsy. I'll leave the link above. And if you are interested in this awesome product, be sure to check out Square One Masterpiece online. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.